Hey guys, if you are like me and you like to remove backgrounds and use a roto brush uh, quite often in After Effects, you might be interested in today's episode. So actually, Adobe just released a couple of weeks ago the new version of uh, roto brush, uh, roto brush 3.0, which is uh, gonna be something cool, I think, for me and for you. So there is a new AI potentiality in this. Uh, so let's see what they say on their website. So, they said that the next generation of After Effects Rotobrush tool is powered by a brand new AI model. It was already the case for Rotobrush 2, but now it's been improved. Uh, so, they said that overlapping limbs and even hair and transparency are easier to mask. So, they have uh, put some examples on, the, on their website. So, this is the uh, frame that they have chosen to uh, set up the uh, the hair, the contour of the hair, and this is the result. So in uh, Rotobrush 2, you see more uh, white zone from the backgrounds comparing to the Rotobrush 3.0. It's not an enormous change, but it does something better i think so and here if you use the refine edges work uh, so the the brush the refine edges brush you see that you have done this change on the on the brush on the hair and this is the result so you can definitely see an improvement uh, okay this is an animatic gif so it won't be uh, such a good quality, but you can feel the, the difference. So I have done a, a previous video concerning Rotobras 2 and actually it works the same way. It's just the algorithm that changes. So if you want to see what uh, how to use the Rotobrush, I'm going to put here the link to the previous video. It's actually absolutely the same, but you have just to choose Rotobrush 3 instead of Rotobrush 2. So have fun and see you next time.